Hey everybody, we have upgraded our lighting setup, so I believe we now have the best lighting out of everyone on YouTube. It's not only the partners who launch products at CES, but also their suppliers. In this case, Cherry has its new MX Low Profile Switch, which is quite a bit smaller than the MX Normal Switches that you're used to. Cherry is not replacing or getting rid of their normal MX3 Switches, but they are adding to them and attempting to sate some of the demand for smaller keyboards with lower profile keys, primarily from industry partners. Before that, this video is brought to you by EVGA and the X299 Dark motherboard for the Intel high-end desktop CPUs. The X299 Dark is one of the only motherboards on the market with proper VRM cooling. We've tested this and found significant performance increase over those without active cooling on the VRMs. This board was used in our recent attempt to set a top 10 record in Firestrike, and you can learn more about the X299 Dark at the link in the description below. For now, Cherry only has a red switch on demo. They plan to add a couple of the other standard switch types in the future, including black and brown switches with an option for blue. The switch types will remain the same. So with red, you have a linear switch. With blue, you have somewhat of a clicky switch and so forth. So those denominations will remain the same within the color categories of Cherry MX switches. The difference is really just in the size, the form factor, which of course brings with it some changes to the inner workings. So Cherry's goal starting out with this was to reduce size by 50 to 60% of the switch, uh, which was partly demand from their partners while still retaining the Cherry feel for how it actually actuates and how it feels when you push the switch down. They ended up reducing it by about 35% in reality, and the difference there between 35% and 60% primarily comes down to physics just apparently not allowing them to get it any smaller. So we'll see if that changes in the future, but for now it was necessary to keep it at least somewhat larger uh, versus the 50 to 60% reduction target, if only to retain the actual feeling that everyone's gotten used to with Cherry. We haven't had enough hands-on time yet to really judge how close the new switches are to their larger sized counterparts, but Cherry does say that they pretty much feel the same and they've done survey groups with hundreds of people in them at this point. The main change on the switch is its cylindrical housing now. So underneath the keycap, you'll find a cylinder rather than a square. It still has the plus sign for the centerpiece, but the cylinder part is supposed to help with dust and water resistance. Cherry didn't give us exact specifications yet, but from what we understand, it should be pretty close to IP68, which is a number representing the dust and water resistance. The dust being the first number, zero to six, and the second number being the water resistance, zero to eight for the scale where higher is better resistance. So we don't have an exact number, but they did say it should be towards the top end of the scale. And some of the higher end phones on the market would be IP68 or 67 to give you a reference point. So that cylindrical top is supposed to help out there. And then if you look closer surrounding the cylinder at the center, in this case, the red or the blue one, you'll also see somewhat of a moat surrounding them, which can be used to place a light. So the diodes are still positioned underneath the plus sign of the switch or around the perimeter of it, but there is a carved out moat surrounding the center cylinder that you actually depress when you press the button and that's where the light comes through. Cherry tells us that they were able to do this without using a light pipe, which is an extra part and increases cost, and we're able to use normal diodes. So the stem is surrounded by just a sort of a, a cutout area where the light can shine through, and that's as opposed to the diodes that you see on, for example, the Logitech keyboards where you have lenses, that can focus the light or on previous examples where there are light pipes. One of the final changes of note is the cutout underneath the switch to accommodate service mount devices. This is useful for OEMs and manufacturers who have requests to shrink the size of their keyboard while still fitting all of the components underneath. If you're allowing clearance underneath the switch housing to accommodate SMTs, then obviously the whole point of reducing the switch size has been kind of moot. So that's what we know for now on the Cherry MX Low Profile Switches. And if you want more information, keep an eye out because we're waiting on additional spec sheets from Cherry on the new switches. And we don't have a rollout time for the switch or for manufactured products and don't know who's going to be making them. They're not quite small enough to accommodate, for example, a laptop except for something like the Titan from MSI, but uh, they will allow for smaller keyboards. 
which in speaking with Cherry could be useful for folks like their business and enterprise clients. We don't have an exact date on when these switches will become available or when partners in our side of the industry will begin using the products. But as more comes out, we'll let you know. So as always, subscribe for more information. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.